Welcome to the Terror Dome in New Orleans, Louisiana, where it is never safe to go out in public on Fat Tuesday. Why is that, Ren? Uh, that's because Tuesday's when they have to lure the zombies back into the stadium, so they let a few fat people out to lead them back inside. You know, a little bait. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The full metal mayhem bang heads against the New Orleans Zombies. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr., and then these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. Brazil pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak! Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It's close, though. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. Any proud of that? Yeah. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. Probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stop all over his opponent. 
opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection, too. Uh, now, that has weird side effects, Bricks. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your... Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. The defense knocked the pass down, and quarterbacks hate that. Second down and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for the Zachman. And that'll bring up third and one. And there's another pick. And this quarterback must have learned. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? The ref goes a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. Yeah. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Third down and the punter is warming up. Totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nice. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. And like a, that's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Field. And now they can taste sound, but can't remember what the concept of time is. Third down and five. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Picks up two yards on the pass. Then this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one. Hot two. Eight. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. 
First down and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Well, that's a strange penalty call right there. I'm sure the owners have been trapped by his talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. <laughs> And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. Hot, hot one, hot two. Receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And the quarterback calls his quarterback passes for a touchdown. And they line up for the extra point. Hey. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Second down and long. Hot, hot one. Hot. Oh, no. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. <laughs> Third down and forever. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That is still edible, though. Just gotta scrape off the charred parts. This is gonna be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. I'm pretty 
sure my baby sister can throw further than that. But she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. And that'll be second and eight to go. He refuses to go down. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that, Grim. Oh, boy. And it's first and ten. Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's gonna kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. Second down in a very lot. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. Third down and three. Oh, he just got pulverized by a mutant trap. First down and five. And he runs it for four yards. And that'll bring up second and one. If you don't hear and he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! And this ref is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. <laughs> Second down in a lot. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. It appears that the last ref was calling his stockbroker during the huddle, and that tipped him off. It looks like he won't be buying that boat anytime soon, huh? Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Third down and never gonna happen. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. Good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. Defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? It looks like we've got a penalty here. <laughs> and 
it's first and ten. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. And we're at the two-minute warning. Second down and nine. went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. <laughs> the offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. First and eight to go. Does the if that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Timeouts aren't just for offense, Grim? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. And that'll be second and eight to go. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking... Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. The defense is leaving the team with just one timeout. So they better bring the ball back gift-wrapped. Is it time for a ribbon or a bow, Grim? Maybe if they use their last timeout. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. And that'll be a touchback. I don't feel comfortable giving a massage while we're broadcasting, Grim. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. Geez, you give this guy a Oh, what a run there! Touchdown! No one was gonna stop him! <laughs> now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. He can go all the way. The kicker died on that play. Man, that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player.
The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsanto Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up, Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. We have that toast. Why do we even come back and bother? This is a waste of our time. Yeah, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? Yeah. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. <laughs> oh, with the punishing hit. Come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. Second down and more than the QB would like. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third down and long. Right, the QB's gonna have more interceptions. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went in the woods. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. And that'll bring up third. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. And it's first and ten.
know, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Ravy blood is my thought. Oh, it's a player's favorite. First and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. He dies and fumbles the ball. And no one's going to his shiv after the game. And it's first and ten. Sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. Second down and a very lot. Teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. Third down and six. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interception, but when I... He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. <laughs> well, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They'll be going on site here and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. Oh, man, he really... Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, Good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. First and ten. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. That run is good for ten yards. <laughs> One 
one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, you don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Two. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The offense has no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. Third down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. The first down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. First and four. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. First down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. First down in a mile, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down in a mile. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. <laughs> And another interception. This quarterback is going to... And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? And he 
scores! They're going for two points. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Fred, but it keeps coming back to him. Second down. was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. Third down, and the punter is warming up. It's off for the first. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. It's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man. Oh, what the brutal hit. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. And he finds open space. He's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Now, this guy looks kind of familiar. Yeah, he was in that 80s band. Men without hats, remember? We can dance if we want to. Not bad for a guy 100 years old. <laughs> He's aged better than Keith Richards. We tell you how you tell you. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. Eight. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. And this werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Pig's Hotel Bar the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. 
And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make a pay. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, the strawberry field's dirty trick. As my mentor Hunter used to say, I don't advocate drugs, alcohol, narcotics, or insanity. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. And it's first and ten. He rifled that one in there, and they come up with ten yards on the play. Second down and inches. Hot one, hot two, hot. with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chip wearing a wig. Boom to the moon. Another bites the dust in the NFL winning is really about how much you want it bricks well he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy that's a good point grim
And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. He could go all the way. And they're catching up. Jump, jump. Don't... He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And it's first and ten. Kaboom! And the quickly breaks his bowels. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. They're going for two. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. The offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. He took a leap and hit the ball, knocked out. Fumble! Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really... Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The 20. And that is caught for a first down. It was total carnage today, folks. A gruesome and bloody mess with a high death toll. And the hometown fans love it. <laughs> Way to go, guys. The New Berlin Zombies win by forfeit. I'm There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Today's final game stands are brought to you by the...